The brand new Milram Themis war robot made its debut at the 2016 Singapore Air Show, with expectations immediately going through the roof about its capabilities to revolutionize ground warfare and European defense mechanisms. Versatile as its design is, the ground-based armed drone vehicle can execute several tasks, ranging from cargo to weapon deployment to medical evacuation. But most importantly, Themis facilitates real soldiers' missions by covering such matters while human elements can concentrate on other areas on the battlefield. Built by Milrun Robotics in Estonia, the unmanned ground vehicle has thus far passed all its required tests and trials, and was deployed to actual conflict zones in Africa as recently as 2019. However, its true potential is yet to be seen, and many enhancements are on the way, with several European countries having already joined forces to create the perfect robot soldier. As journalist Kelsey D. Atherton put it, quote, When robots go to war, they will be short, squat, and in bodies unlike those of humans. The Robot Milram Robotics' Estonian-made Tracked Hybrid Modular Infantry System, or Themis, was first shown at the 2016 Singapore Air Show. And contrary to sci-fi imagery, journalist Kelsey D. Atherton claimed the robot, quote, has no gleaming silver skull, no pointy battle droid face, and no blinking Cylon eyes. Instead, it was basically a simple platform on tracks. However, beneath its humble appearance lies a capable ground-based multi-role drone vehicle unlike anything seen before. As an unmanned ground vehicle, or UGV, the armed robot was explicitly built for military applications, aiming to provide support for dismounted troops and reduce the number of human elements on the battlefield. During combat, the soldier's physical limitations complicate the transportation of supplies and equipment, particularly for dismounted units. Consequently, additional equipment and heavy weapons weigh down on marching troops, narrowing what any given man can bring into battle. Thus, the objective of the Themis transport is to support ground troops so that the cognitive load of soldiers is reduced. Moreover, the robot provides a means to carry items, and what's more, it utilizes extra gear and firepower. By increasing the mobility of ground units, dismounted elements are more effective against the adversary. Plus, Themis can also support on-base logistical activities and be deployed for last-minute resupply for fighting units on the front line, while also serving as a remote weapon station, IED detection, and disposal unit. In addition, Themis increases standoff distance, force protection, and survivability due to its integrated self-stabilizing remote-controlled weapon system. Therefore, it also acts as a force multiplier, providing direct fire support for maneuver forces. Design. Themis is a modular tracked platform consisting of two identical units equipped with the required electronics and mechanisms to mobilize a vehicle that features a hybrid drive system. Its hybrid attribute comes from the robot's diesel electric engine and battery, which enables it to run on just electrical power or both gas and battery. A multi-purpose platform is set between the two modules, and it is able to transport anything ranging from weapon systems to explosive detectors. The vehicle's open architecture, which enables its multi-mission capability, also allows for a rapid configuration. During urgent situations, Themis can be hastily repurposed from a functional transport to a remote weapon, for ordnance disposal or to support intelligence operations, depending on the criteria of each ongoing mission. Themis is 210 centimeters long, 90 to 210 centimeters wide, and 98 centimeters high, and it weighs one ton. The vehicle can withstand 750 to 1,000 kilograms, and it can be operated continuously for 10 hours as an autonomous vehicle, advancing at a top speed of 24 kilometers per hour. The robot has also branched into specialized products to cover each function more effectively. 
the cargo version, intended to carry the soldiers' load and let them concentrate on the mission at hand, has several types of tie-downs and restraints to prevent unwanted load shifts. Meanwhile, the mortar carrier model was adjusted to accommodate a mortar of up to 81 millimeters. Equipped with a specially designed suspension for safe transportation and deployment of the weapon, as well as extra equipment and ammunition, the platform enables swift implementation, even in harsh terrains. In addition, this system focuses on logistical support and indirect fire for maneuver forces. The third configuration is specially designed for case fact purposes, with a custom-made platform for rapid evacuation of urgent casualties from the point of injury to higher-level medical facilities. The model also frees up manpower used for medical evacuation and assets reallocation, and it facilitates most stretchers used by NATO member armed forces. As a combat UGV, the robot can be fitted with light or heavy machine guns, 40mm grenade launchers, 30mm auto cannons, and anti-tank missile systems. In other words, it is capable of executing conventional missile rounds and machine gun fire. Furthermore, Themis incorporates advanced multi-sensor intelligence gathering capabilities. The system mainly strives to increase situational awareness, provide improved intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance over vast areas, and to battle damage assessment capabilities. Beyond infantry support, the vehicle can also enhance the work of border guards or law enforcement agencies by collecting and processing raw information, and thus decreasing the commander's reaction time. It also performs as a drone launcher, firefighting tool, and communication relay, among other functions. Finally, the UGV can not only be piloted remotely, but also has a follow mode, programmed to travel behind a specific person. Impressively, it can also work in a somewhat autonomous manner. Applications Milram's robot has been operationally proven during several exercises and experiments. The manufacturer, based in Estonia, tested its performance with the Adder Remote Control Armament Module, and its rotating 50 caliber CIA 50MG machine gun was able to act against targets at distances of up to 1,800 meters. Having successfully completed its initial tests through 2016, the platform entered production towards the end of that year. Then, in early 2019, another version, equipped with the Impact Integrated Precision Attack Combat Turret, was exhibited at IDEX Abu Dhabi. This 250kg turret was originally designed for tactical and light armored vehicles. The vehicle features two important technological advancements. For one, it is fitted with high-resolution day and night optronics for long-range identification and target engagement. But it also has low thermal and noise signature profiles, which significantly reduce the robot's detectability. Milram Robotics CEO Koldar Varsi added, quote, This combination of two of the most modern technologies in their field is a very good example of how robotic warfare systems will bring disruption to the battlefield and make some traditional technologies obsolete. No less than 11 countries have already acquired Themis most of which are part of NATO, including Germany, the Netherlands, Norway, the United Kingdom, and the United States, not to mention Estonia. In truth, Estonia already placed the vehicle in real combat operations. In the spring of 2019, Milram's export director, Gert Hankowitz, confirmed that Themis was deployed along with Estonian soldiers to the Sahel Sahara region in Mali for anti-insurgency missions in the French-led Operation Barkhane. The director explained, quote, Our newest generation of the Themis UGV will be deployed in Mali with Estonian soldiers for approximately five months. It will support dismounted troops by carrying their gear and enhancing situational awareness as its primary function. Knowledge gained during the mission will be used for further research and development. As for its situational awareness role, it would be covered by the Thrud Systems KX-4LE Titan unmanned quadcopter. When tethered to the UGB to increase the quadcopter's endurance, the system can reach a height of 80 meters, and it can also carry an electro-optical sensor payload of 4 kilograms to relay geo-reference surveillance imagery. The Future In 
Interest in UGVs across Europe has been rising in recent years. And in late 2020, the European Commission and Milram Robotics signed a grant agreement for the development of the Integrated Modular Unmanned Ground System, or IMUGS. In fact, the company leads a consortium that collaborates on the project under the European Defense Industrial Development Program. Several international collaborators would accompany the 32.6 million euro grant, namely Belgium, Finland, France, Germany, Latvia, and Spain, each of which is contributing 2 million euros. This program will see through the development of a modular and scalable architecture for hybrid manned-unmanned systems. Furthermore, the objective is to standardize Europe's aerial and ground platforms, command, control, and communications, sensors, payloads, and algorithms. Such changes will increase interoperability and facilitate decision-making. And as Milram stated, all ethical aspects will be taken into consideration regarding robotics, artificial intelligence, and autonomous systems, which will be developed under, quote, meaningful human control. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels for more military stories from the past and present. And don't forget to hit the like button and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more.